Hi there, my name is Cuppy Cates, and welcome finally to the tutorial on how to download the ClanGen developmental version that I have been playing with Hollow Clan during our spooky scary season. Now I have a very important message to start. I actually found a tutorial for this and I was able to follow the tutorial on this person's channel which i will provide a link to that in the description because i want to make sure they get credit now their video is missing a really important step so i decided to go ahead for my community to redo a tutorial with that step included but this is also a showcase video i'll be showcasing some of the things uh, the developmental version has in it at the end of the tutorial so i hope that you'll stick around so you can see some of the cool stuff you have to look forward to especially if you're not able to get this version for any reason you at least get a fun sneak peek i also highly encourage that you watch the hollow clan series it has been a lot of fun to play especially for spooky scary season so if you want even more insight on some of the dev version and seeing me learn some of that stuff then i highly suggest that Anyways, enough talk, let's get on with the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go down into the description of this video and click the link that will take you to the Clan Gen website. Now I'm going to use this first video I did as an example to show you where to find it. You're gonna go down, click dot, dot, dot more because most of the description is hidden unless you click that button. You'll see it drop down a little bit and you'll see play the game in the description of this video and you're gonna click on that sablesteel.itch.io slash clan gen link. Once you click that, it's pretty, my face is so bright. <laughs> Once you click that, it's pretty simple from here. You're just gonna go directly to the GitHub link and click that. Now, this looks like a lot going on. When I first got to this page, I was very confused, like, oh my gosh, but luckily the tutorial I watched, like I said, linked in the description below, showed me exactly where to go. You're gonna go to this area right here where it says main and a funky little symbol there should be a drop down, and you're gonna go to development, which is right below main. Click that, it'll take you to a different page. Now this also looks like a lot. You're gonna ignore everything and go straight to this bright green button right here with code, and you're gonna click download zip. Now once you click that, it should download immediately. If you have Windows, you will see it pop up. Now, that brings up a good point since I mentioned that. I have run Windows my whole life. <laughs> I have never had the luxury of playing on a Mac computer, <laughs> but I don't actually know if this particular download or zip file will work for Mac. For you Mac users out there, I don't know if I can help with any of the questions you might have on whether or not this will work since I can't actually test it myself. So hopefully somebody who has, the, has a Mac can test this and please, if you do, feel free to post in the comment section i'd be happy to pin your message on how that went whether it worked or didn't work so please mac users feel free to help me out uh, and let me know if this works at all but i'm a windows user i'm downloading this on windows i will put in the title that this is for windows but mac users feel free to test this out let me know okay so now that we've downloaded that we're gonna go somewhere just a little bit different so you're now going to go to a website called thani.org. That link will also be available for you to click in the description below, probably right beneath the itch.io link. Probably right beneath the ClanGen website link, you'll see a link to thani.org. What you're gonna wanna do here for Windows have your mouse hover over windows you'll see a, another separate area pop up and you're going to go down and either download the 64-bit or the 32-bit whatever your system is running 
I don't know how to check that. I'm so sorry. I do know I am running a 64 bit um, because I am running Windows 10. I don't know if the Windows that you run has to do with the bit size, but I am 64, so that's what I'm downloading. So I click that and you'll see it started downloading right up here and it is almost done. All right, now we don't need our web browser anymore. So we are going to be going to our downloads file. In downloads, you will actually see both Thani and the ClanGen development zip file. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is extract the ClanGen dev version. So you will right click and you should see extract all. Now I had some comments in my last video saying that there was no extract option at all. If that is the case, it's possible that you don't have something in your system or a software that can actually unzip a file. So you may need to download a software that can do that for you. I used to have a system that would not do it on its own. I had to use WinRAR, which I don't necessarily suggest anymore. <laughs> Uh, but there are softwares out there that can unzip these files for you. But my system does it, so I'm going to click Extract All. You can actually extract it right here in the downloads file. I don't personally suggest that because I like to keep things organized. So I'm going to click Browse. And as you can see, I currently have the ClanGen and a ClanGen dev file in my documents folder. That's where I like to put these. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it ClanGen Tut for tutorial. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to unclick that so it shows right here folder. You want to make sure the name of the folder that you want it to go into is right here. Make sure of that. I didn't do that the first time and freaked out because I thought it wouldn't extract. You have to make sure the name of your folder is right here. Then you'll click select folder and extract. After it's completed, my system went ahead and pulled it up for me in the documents file and you can see all of the files are in here. You might notice the main that looks very similar to the regular clan gen has the same symbol and then underneath it you'll see main with a th. That's for Thani, but you're not going to click that just yet, but that will become very important in a moment. So now once you've done that, just minimize that and you're going to go to the Thani installer in your downloads file. Once you double click it, this window should pop up. Just follow the instructions. I've already downloaded Thani, so I don't need to do it again, but obviously read the license agreement, agree if you do. I did make a desktop icon. You don't necessarily have to because you can access it from the ClanGen dev file, but that's up to you. Once you finish everything, just click install and Thani should install for you just fine. Once that is done, if you chose to make a desktop icon, it should look very much like this. You're going to double click that and you will see a window pop up. That is a very strange place for you to pop up there. <laughs> Um, yours is going to look different from mine. Mine has all this coding in it because I have been playing the developmental version. So this is from that, but just ignore that for right now, even though yours may look different, we're going to go through the same process. So once you get to this point, you are going to go up here between run and help. You're going to click tools and then you will click manage packages. Once you are in here, you're going to see a search bar. Right at the top, you're gonna to wanna to search Pygame. So Pygame is a tool that is needed to actually run the dev version of ClanGen. You're gonna click right here where it says Pygame in bold. It'll pull this up and right here, you should see a button that says install. Mine doesn't because I've already installed this, but you're gonna to want to install this yourself. So click install, it'll do it automatically and it's really quick, you should be done. After that, this is the part that was missing out of the tutorial that I watched and I had to do a little bit of research, not too much, and I found out you have to download a tool called UJSON. I don't know if that's how you actually say it. 
or UJSON, you'll go ahead and search that, click the bold link and do the exact same thing. Click install. And once that is done, those should be the only tools that you need. Okay, once those two tools are installed, just go ahead and exit Thani for right now. You're gonna go back to where you made your clan gen dev folder. You'll want to go to the TH main, which is the Thani main. If you double click that, your Thani should pull up with the installed tools and then just hit run current script. Once you do that, the game should pull up. Now I want to I want to preface this with, if you're watching this in the future and things have changed since this tutorial, I obviously will try and keep up to date with stuff, but if new tools or things need to be downloaded and it's not in this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will try and keep up to date with any new tools or instructions you may need to download this, but this is what I did to play the dev version. So now that we're here, we're gonna start the showcase. One more thing before we continue with the showcase, if you exit out of Thani while the game is running, the game will close. Thani has to stay open while you are playing the game. That is very, very important. On with the showcase. So to start, we're gonna actually go ahead and go to settings and info. I personally like to play in dark mode just because I look at a screen a lot and I wanna protect my eyes. So I play a lot of things in dark mode. There's enable clan page background. That's what makes the pretty like forest or mountain region picture behind all of your pixel cats. Have that enabled because otherwise it's kind of plain. Now this is a new thing, automatically save five moons. I usually click to yes because I don't mind the auto save and it can be helpful if you forget to save like I do. So I click yes, but that is entirely up to you. There are now things called mass extinction events. So that's interesting. I usually click yes on that because I really like dramatic stories. So if you want something where you may have a ton of cats that just aren't there anymore, then click that. But if you don't wanna just lose cats spontaneously, don't click that. <laughs> Uh, force cats to retire after severe injury. That's another new thing that's entirely up to you. Enable shaders. I love the shaders. Whoever did the shaders for these pixel cats did an amazing job. So I highly suggest enabling that, but again, up to you. Display hotkeys on text buttons. I don't actually know what that is, but you are welcome to test that out. There's also a relationship settings tab where you can toggle things like randomize relation values when creating clan. So your clan cats may already have developed relationships with cats right when you start. If you don't want that and you want them to develop as they go, like they all just came together suddenly but they don't really know each other, then make sure that's switched to no. Allow affairs and mates switches based on relationships. That's another thing you can switch. Allow couples to have kittens despite same sex status. You can switch that as well. Allow unmated cats to have offspring. That is also up to you. I can say it makes for really interesting lore when a cat ends up having kits and you have no idea who the dad is. <laughs> Allow romantic interactions with former apprentice's mentor. I'm really glad that they added this just because uh, age, watching the age of cats is really important to me. I usually click that to no. For language, this has been translated in both Spanish and German. I have it set to English because I unfortunately do not speak Spanish or German. And then the info page is just a little bit of information about the game. So now that we've saved our settings, we are going to go into our clan to make one. <laughs> We're gonna call this tutorial clan and go ahead and pick some cats to use as an example. And I'm done. So now this is really cool. You get to choose which region you want to have your cats in. There's a forest region, a mountains region, a plains region, or a beach region. I actually quite enjoy the art of the beach 
layout. So we are going to use this one for the tutorial. So as you can see, we are actually on a beach and whoever did the art for this again, amazing chef's kiss. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some new things. So Star Clan now has their own page. You still have the cat that guides your passed away cats to Star Clan, and they now glow and sparkle, which I think is wonderful. It helps show that the cat has passed, especially in a new relationships tab that I will show you in a moment. So the list cat still looks pretty much the same. Let's go ahead and look at Jagged Paw to show you some of these cool new features. So we have a lot of the same things as before where it shows you the gender, uh, whether they're an adolescent, what they look like, if they're wearing an accessory, which I think is really cool. Parents is still there, how many moons old they are, whether they're an apprentice or a warrior or a medicine cat, shows the mentor still, shows their trait and what they're good at and their experience level. So C family is still about the same. Obviously we don't know Jagged Paws family. So now let's go into C relationships. So Jagged Paws relationships. It looks like for Cold Strike, they have a small platonic like, some respect, and they're comfortable with Cold Stripe and a little bit of trust. Same with Daisy Kit, Trout Paw, Dark Hawk, a platonic like and respect, but it seems like Jagged Paw dislikes Fur Paw and is jealous of them. So the whole point of this page is to kind of help you build lore for your cats, maybe help build their personalities, stories for them because of this. Now, you might be wondering how on earth does this change? So I will show you. So I'm not gonna go on patrols for this first moon so I can show you what it looks like when a moon passes. So for our little story of this showcase, we're gonna say our cats just got here. They're too tired to patrol. They're going to rest for the rest of the day. So we're gonna time skip one moon. So we still have events. A kitty pet named Polly stops Juniper Star and asks to join the clan. So now kitty pets and loners can still join from the events. Polly decides to keep their name. So that is just normal clan events. But now we have relationship events. So let's go ahead and click that. Now this is a lot. This is what affects the relationship page. So Daisy Kit complains about Flower Paw. Well, that had a small negative effect. Juniper complains about Dark Hawk, small negative effect. Jagged Paw had a fight with Flower Paw, negative effect. So there are small negative effects, small positive effects, negative and positive effects. An example of a positive effects is Shell Ivy is talking with Polly. That's a positive effect Polly just wanted to be talked to. So let's go ahead and click on the patrol page and go to a cat. So I've got Jagged Paw and it gives you some of the important info you might need to know for a patrol. So what I'm looking for right here is that Dark Hawk is actually Jagged Paw's mentor. So we're gonna add Jagged Paw to the patrol and then we're gonna go to Dark Hawk and send them on a patrol together. In this case, they didn't find anything useful there are new events that happen, some of which can be pretty devastating. In Hollow Clan, I lost three cats on one patrol. It was pretty intense. So just keep your eye out for that because that can happen. So we do still have the allegiance page where you can see all the allegiances just like before. I do see something here about map. Don't know what that's about. It is grayed out, so I don't know if that's a feature that's upcoming, but I think that's pretty cool. I'm interested to see what happens with that. But now if we go back to list cats, I have noticed this cats outside clan. Now, I don't really know what that is or what that does. Even in Hollow Clan, I haven't really experienced anything with that. That could be a feature that still hasn't even come to the dev version yet, that it's in thought, but it's not actually here. But I'm really excited to find out what cats outside clans mean 
Maybe you could have four clans going at a time. Maybe that's what map is going to be. I don't know. I'm just speculating, but I'm super excited to see where this goes. I try very hard to keep up with the clan gen discord, which I highly suggest y'all to join. There's a lot of fun people on there. I saw them playing games on there the other day and you do get some updates on what's going on. You can see other creators that are like adding their own touch to the game. A lot of people are working together on this and I think it deserves all the love and support that it can get. But that is the clan gen dev version. If I missed anything, I'm so sorry. These are just all the things that I have found out. I'm still exploring and learning new things about this too, but I hope that you get to as well. Um, ooh, stats. Is that new? One more important thing before I leave y'all to go and play. I ask that you do not pester the devs to add certain things. There's a difference between having suggestions and pestering. Be kind. If you're playing the game and you notice a bug, because this is the dev version, there could be a ton of bugs. Please be aware of that. If you encounter a bug, feel free to report it, but don't don't be mad if you lose your clan because of a bug. You are playing the dev version. That can happen. It might be frustrating, but you're essentially playing a version that's in beta. Anything can happen. You could lose your clan. Cats could disappear for no reason. It could crash. There's a lot of things that happen in any sort of beta version of any game. You're essentially a beta tester. If you want to go into clan gen and say, hey, while I was doing this, I encountered this bug. Uh, if you want to try and recreate it, or if you can record yourself recreating it, anything like that absolutely helps the devs. Just be kind, understand they're doing their best. They also live their lives beyond this game. Just be supportive and have fun regardless of what bug you may encounter. I think that's everything. I hope I'm not missing anything. I probably am. And I'm going to realize it after I hit the stop recording button, but oh well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them in the comments below. I don't know everything, so just be kind to me if I don't know everything. I, I'm not a dev of this game. I just love it. I'm a huge fan. I want to support it in any way I can. I want to get it attention, and that's why I did this, but I don't, I, I don't know everything. Uh, I always highly suggest going to the clan gen discord if you have questions, just like I said, be kind, understand that this may not work always. Okay. Anyways, please like this video. If you liked it, if it helps you out, please feel free to subscribe. I love playing clan gen. I've got a couple of clan gen series going on right now. It's only hollow clan because of the spooky, scary season, but I've had wolf clan and I stream druid clan from time to time. So if you want to see some clan gen stuffs, feel free to stick around. Uh, and also go ahead and join my discord. We have a huge clan gen community as well as a wolf quest community. If you're interested, we would love to have you join. All right. Thanks for watching. I wish you good luck. Hopefully everything works out and I will see you next time for a clan gen video. Bye. One more thing. One more thing. If you want to save your clan, you go to clan page. Save. I always click it like five times because I'm paranoid, <laughs> but definitely save your progress. Even if you have it set to save every five moons, if you can save every moon, it's right there save save that clan okay bye